G'day, thanks for clicking on the link, and well, this is actually just a shorter section of the news from a bigger show, which you can check out up here. So, I hope you enjoy it. Victoria is getting like a 300 megawatt or 450 megawatt hour Tesla battery um, near Geelong, which is kind of near me. So I'll be taking drives out there on occasion, getting the drone up and getting you guys some footage. Watch this space. Six minutes. That's how long Magnus says its battery will take to recharge. Detailed last week in the Driven, Brady Schmidt writes how its multi-layer 1.6 amp hour pouch cells retain 93% capacity over 600 charging cycles. And well, under a very much a torturous lab test, which they actually charge and discharge this battery back to back on a 30 minute charge and discharge cycle. That is definitely torturous stuff, folks. So you might recall that I actually detailed uh, this Australian company last year, I reckon it was. Pretty certain it was last year, or maybe it was 2018. Not very sure, but I've definitely spoken about these guys before. And well, I think what they're doing here is actually world leading and amazing. You see, they're planning on building, or helping me part of rather, the Giga factory in Queensland. Yeah, far north Queensland. And well, uh, essentially, uh, they're talking about producing gigawatt hours of let, you know battery products for world markets from Australia because we've got a lot of lithium and other stuff here, which you know you need in batteries. But nonetheless, getting back to this battery, these guys have actually already developed like a 25 kilowatt hour battery in that can be charged in as little as six minutes. And get this, uh, over the thousand cycles lost absolutely no capacity whatsoever. This is amazing, right? And this is, I think, something that will switch people to EVs. And because at the moment, people who don't have EVs, I, I've got to say it, and it sounds derogatory and I don't mean it to be, it's just something you realize when you've got one. And that is that every morning I go to my car and it's as full as I want it to be. So just conceptualize that for a second. You've got your petrol car in the garage and every morning you, you go back to it and well, the tank is full. It's like that. It really is. And so people, when they ask me, oh, how long will it take you to charge your car, Chris? And I say, well, with my granny charger out there, more than 24 hours. And they go, oh my God, that, 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 that won't work, will it? And you're like, dude, dude, I do 40 kilometers of driving per day, maximum. And that will then recharge in like not even four hours. So when I'm sleeping at night, my car is already full, yeah? This is this is just, anyway, I diverge. I'm getting away from the point. The point is this, is that if you could say to somebody, hey, you could have your EV, you can refill it in exactly the same time it takes to uh, refill the petrol in your conventional car, they'd be like, I'm in, I'm sold now, I'll buy it even though they don't understand that actually every time they wake up to their car before, but don't, don't tell them the secret. <laughs> don't, don't tell them the secret. And one last story, full self-driving beta. Elon Musk has hinted that full self-driving software for Teslas might become available for public use in America mm -hmm, in April this year. Twitter user F9Block5 asked Elon if any update on a timeline when public FSD will come out possibly Q2, that basically means like April, okay? That they've got different quarters to us, okay? So, Elon, he replied this, sounds about right, but we want to be very careful with this transition period. Appreciating that this might be on Elon time, that is like, yeah, this year, but later rather than sooner, the question many Aussie Tesla owners have is like, when, when will Australia be included? And well, to answer that, we need to have a quick journey back in time. See, Navigate on Autopilot was released down under in like January 2020. That was a roughly three to six months behind the US. Now, before you get too excited and uh, start saying to yourself, well, gee, Chris, that would therefore mean maybe June or July, mm, yeah? Oh gosh, it could even be September, October. I, I just need to, not to not to rain on anyone's parade, but the reality are the realities are this. Right now, Tesla is doing a lot, a lot. Think Tesla Giga, Cybertruck, Tesla Berlin, um, ramping up Shanghai production, 
making a Giga battery factory, trying to get the Tesla Semi out, and well, other stuff that we're just probably not even conscious or aware of. And so I think that at, at this moment in time, Tesla is stretched. And, and you can kind of see that also in how the Tesla Model S and X have been pegged for 2022 deliveries for right hand markets. So unfortunately, that's gonna mean, and I'm gonna say this and you can hold me to it, we won't see full self-driving beta in Australia until early 2022.